हरे कृष्णा कंट्रोल द माइंड बिफोर इट कंट्रोल्स यू सपोज अ पर्सन इज राइडिंग ऑन अ हॉर्स एंड दैट हॉर्स सडनली स्टार्ट वियरिंग आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल इट स्टार्ट गोइंग ऑफ इन सम अदर डायरेक्शन एज इट इज रशिंग ऑफ इन दैट डायरेक्शन वॉट हैपन्स the chariot the rider on the horse the rider has to immediately recognize oh this horse is going off track and has to pull the horse pull the reins and get the horse under control and now if the rider does not do this then what happens then the horse gets such momentum it starts running so fast that the horse takes control and the chariot the rider on the horse has become becomes powerless becomes helpless so the controller becomes the controlled because of not controlling in time so the horse the rider is meant to control the horse but the controller becomes the controlled because the horse has taken control the horse has gained too much momentum too much strength and then the rider may just be thrown off or even trampled by the horse and may be wounded killed it will be disastrous and all the disaster happens because the horse rider did not control the horse in time similarly for us as souls we are situated in the material world in our body manorathena so manoratha means the chariot of the mind or we could say the uh, chariot is basically driven by a horse so we can say that we are riding on the horse now when we are riding on the horse of the mind the mind can just go off track we are going in a particular direction but the mind sees this See the particular item to eat. See the particular item to watch, and I want I want that. And as the desire comes in, if we no, I'm not going to do this. If we resist the desire immediately, then it's easy to resist. But if we don't do that, the desire starts growing, and as the desire starts growing, it starts becoming stronger and stronger and stronger. Then it just becomes so strong that resisting it becomes almost impossible. and we are overpowered we are just dragged into doing things which we had no intention of doing how does that happen because while the mind was controllable while the while the desire was just a small small just thought in the background at that time we could have resisted it but we didn't resist it at that time it just grew it gives became so forceful that afterwards resisting it became impossible that's why the bhagavad gita tells us that it's best to control the senses right in the beginning that uh, it says that we best avoid contemplation of the sense objects krishna says raga dvesha muktaistu vishayan indriyesh charan atma vashyair vidhaya atma prasadam adigachati he says that when the mind starts wandering towards the sense objects rather than letting the mind wander what we can do is we can don't let the senses go off in the wrong directions focus them focus them krishna says that wherever and whenever the mind wanders eto eto nischalti manaschanchal mast tata sato onyam yaitad atmanye vasham nayet that bring it under the bring the mind wherever and whenever it wanders bring it under the control of the self it it is a, something which requires effort but it saves a lot of trouble so by being alert to control the mind Uh, when it starts going out of control we can save ourselves of a lot of trouble otherwise we will suffer much more because of the consequence of the mind taking control then is the effort required to control the mind thank you hare krishna